Hey, yeah, what's going on? It's your boy OD the GM. I know what y'all are saying. It's another YouTube channel talk Miami Dolphins. Yes, I want talk Miami Dolphins. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to start this channel a long time, but you know, sometimes you know you got a lot of things going on. You know, shout out to T D Fence, Dougley Do Wrong, Boss K Flexing. You know, DolphinsTalk.com, you know, it's kind of the reason why I really wanted to get into it. You know, let you know that the Bahamas, Nassau, Bahamas, we, we Dolphin country. A couple fellas around here pull for some other different team. and They ain't making no sense, man. This Dolphin country. You understand? So it's rough. It's rough, you know. Uh, you know this season we got rid of the last coach. We got rid of Gase. Because Gase was arrogant. Gase was just... I don't understand Adam Gase, man. He, he never do nothing in this league. You don't know playoff winning coach. Super Bowl ring. You don't got none of these things. But, you know, you very arrogant. Especially when he talking to the media. You, you just, you, you, I think he can be a good football coach. One, I, I really think he's a good football coach. But he can't get out of your own way sometimes. He like to throw your team under the bus. And I don't know, boy. He, he just in love with E-Quarter Box. He never say nothing wrong about him ever. You know what I mean? Well, all football people is lie. So, you know, move on. You know, they, they, they get rid of Tannenbaum. Tannenbaum should have never been hired in the first place. Should have never been hired. When I see him sitting on the side of the owner, when Hickey was still the GM, I was like, this ain't going to go good. Tannenbaum, he can't run no team. He could run you in Salihu Cap hell. But he can't run no team. So they get rid of that combination and they make Greer the man. Now, I scared of Greer. Why? Because a lot of he early round picks questionable. You know, sometimes he hit on the obvious picks. Like Tunzel fall to us. Boom. You know, second round, he look like he got that. You know, he get his ex, his Avian Howard. You know, but he's missed on the, the late round picks. He could hit it. Early, uh, you got to hit on these picks, man. You got to. You know, and he going and high he boy, Brian Flores. Now, Flores, I like Flores, don't get me wrong. But it was a lot more qualified candidates than him who been coordinators longer. But he gave Flores a shot. And me personally, two black men at the helm of the Dolphins, I all for that. But y'all got to succeed. If y'all don't succeed... You ain't see that no more. Might as well tell you. No time soon. So, you know, Flores, Grail, they trade away everybody. Strip it right down to the bones. And I own, I own, I, I, I into that. You know, you got to try something different. You got to try to get to the top. Let's get the quarterback we want. You understand? Not settle like how we settled for Tana Hill and let him run seven years. I mean, seven years before you figure out this dude can't take you to the promised land. Seven years. What you what, what, what the Dolphins doing? I I don't understand it, man. Trade away tons of hard pill to swallow, but get a lot of picks in return. But you got to hit on them picks, or it's a wasted trade. Tunzel is a beast. Old man, he's young. Can't be getting you want to rebuild. You need young players to rebuild. You know, Flores, a lot of his decisions, like the Josh Rosen situation, you say quarterbacks, you bring it in, best man win. And I mean, you really say Fitzpatrick was better than, than, than Josh Rosen? The fans ain't stupid. The media ain't stupid. The players in that locker room ain't stupid. So that's strike one on you, big man. You know, I see you as a guy with an ego. You know, a lot of people try to come and be Bill Belichick. You own Bill Belichick. You got a resume like him, you deserve not to be questioned. But right now, you trying to earn your stripes in. That's strike one, because everybody could see Rosen was the best. Now, I could understand if you tell me the offensive line... Ain't solid, cause they ain't. You don't want Josh Rosen go behind that right away, cause it could be the same thing happening in Arizona, cause he was running for his life. You understand? Trying to get the anyhow, but that offensive line get Fitzpatrick, 
He coming out of that stadium in a stretch eventually, so. Oh, line. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry, fam. Another decision is you move Bobby McCain to free safety. Right? You take a guy who made his money, who got a, the highest contract for a slot corner at the time, and you move him to free safety. When the year before they drafted a free safety prospect. Sure, he played all over the place at Bama, but this guy, you can see, he ain't into that. He won master a craft. Put him at free safety, and this young fella could be a pro bowler down the line for years to come. That's how smart this guy is. Physically gifted this guy is. He played, I think, free safety last year at New England loss, and he picked off Tom Brady. The guy... That is probably is his best position. You move Bobby became the free safety. And you put him at slot corner, linebacker, strong safety, outside corner. You got this young fella all over the place. It would be frustrating to anybody. You All you had to do was put him free safety. You don't have to move Bobby McCain. Bobby, Bobby McCain was already one of the best slot corners in the league. You out thinking yourself, big man. That's strike two in my book, Flores. You you out you out you ain't gonna make it to see this rebuild to fruition. I don't care about the five year guaranteed contract. Steven Roston, he didn't swallow bigger deals than that. He didn't pay to get rid of players. You understand? So this is this is the way to start, man. That don't make no sense. You can't justify that to me. When you have a free safety prospect that can play free safety, you put him there, but yet you just switch. I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh boy. He walked into Baltimore last week and the guys looked like they wasn't even giving no big effort. Honestly, they wasn't even running. You know what I mean? It's like you almost done lose the locker room. We get our asses Handed to us. I I couldn't even watch the whole game. I gone back and watch it again, and still couldn't finish it. The lack of effort, pass rush. We had pass rushes. They spend more time on the ground than rushing the passer. Lamar Jack. How you get Lamar Jackson? Had a perfect day. How 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 that happen? Defensive guru. Killing me, man. You see the reactions all week. Players talking about they ready to leave. And y'all players, let me tell y'all, y'all suck. Y'all suck. Y'all paid to do a job. And y'all wasn't even running. Y'all wasn't even giving full effort on that field. Y'all won't go. Minka, I kind of understand his frustration, but you don't quit on the team. You don't call your agent and tell your agent get you out of there. That ain't, that ain't how to do it. Do what the coaches ask you to do even if you don't like it. You understand? And pray that the coach get fired. Honor your contract, man. Because Flores keep this up. Because this, it is, people make this harder than... It ain't hard, man. It ain't that hard. Put the nickel corner up. Leave him to nickel. Young boy could play free safety. Let him learn that crap. Who rebuilding? You want a young player like him two years down the line to be when the rebuild and finish and you 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 getting into playoff action and you trying to be a contender for the Super Bowl. You want to experience solid Pro Bowl free safety. I don't understand this, Flores. You, I, this ain't hard. I sure you got an explanation for it, whatever, whatever. But listen, if you keep this up, you ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it. And people, the NFLers remember the mistakes you make. It just be hard to get another. Head coach and job when he's 32 with them. You know, I think Caldwell should have been there and he probably would have advised against that. I don't know. I mean, defense ain't he thing, but as assistant head coach, he could see where you're going wrong. You understand? But true it all, I still with this regime. Because I like the fact that, you know what, we've been trying to patch holes with expensive free agents for a long time and none of these things work. That's just strip it down and build this team. Get the quarterback we want. 
Now the quarterback got he got he won us back too. We ain't won what happened with Eli them. And the fella, you know, he I won't play here. You got Kenyon Drake there. He don't like it in Miami. He didn't get a fair shake. That boy talented. You know, Minka Fitzpatrick, he you think these fellas ain't talking today? They they school brethren? Well, gotta be smoking though. You don't want that fella won't come here and this place dysfunctional. That's why I say Greer and Flores, you're all tied at the hip. Y'all might even get to see this rebuild happen. Because if, if 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 people at the end of the season, you don't see improvement from the team. Every week you seeing the team quit on the coach. And you won't see that Mr. Ross got plenty of smart people around him, but he will just say, you know what, blow this up. Let's bring some people in here but know what they doing. But they got the number one pick and a bounty of picks. That's appealing to anybody. And they could build that line in free agency, man, all that cap space. And they can do what y'all all, all they supposed to do. They can put Minka where he supposed to be, put Bobby where he supposed to be, and they can fill that Ross though. And y'all have to sit down and watch that from a distance. You understand? Got New England up. New England ain't coming to play. They coming to Tom Brady, you know what I mean? I watched Tom Brady play in the stadium. I was in the stadium when we had no Sean Marino them and I Tom Brady like an old horse can't get out of your own way. But this dude is cerebral, man. He just he, he know how to get the ball out, where to put the ball. He just, man, he like an old man on the field. And he just chewing up the division for the last 85 years, seem like. No one could beat this man. New England ain't coming to play. If they could run up the score, they doing that. Flores, don't think for a second because you and Belichick look cool. Listen to me. I predicting, me personally, I predicting 35, 13. That's how I see it. You know, I think we can compete a bit more. But that O line, that's that's problems, man. The O line, that could prevent us from putting points on the board. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, that's all I want to say today about the Dolphins. I don't want this video to be too long. You know, this channel ain't going to be just, just strictly Miami Dolphins, mostly. It can be like 75% Dolphins, you know. Chicago Bulls, you know, that's my team. I've been pulling for them before the Dolphins. You know, Chicago, the Dolphins have my heart. That's my heart. They make me cry. You know, I might talk about the state of my country a little bit. See, we got a bunch of clowns running the country. You know, arrogant pricks. Uh, you know, our politicians are all about teething. All about teething. That's what we all about, you know. So, and burden the middle class. Maybe that's all countries. I don't know. But anyway, OD the GM right here talking Miami. Hit you up with another video. Maybe the day after the Dolphin game against the Patriots. I don't like. I don't want to do videos after the game because I be in my feelings. You know. So, anyway, let me know what y'all think. This the behemoth point of view. You see. OD the GM all the way from Nassau, Bahamas, Dolphin Country. Promise you that. Peace.